Hey, what's up guys? The day is finally here. We have some awesome news to talk about in the world of iOS 12 and jailbreaking. Earlier today, Pwned Own tweeted out this, saying Cydia is looking good on iOS 12. All right, this and more in today's video. All right, so before we get too far into things, definitely like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest jailbreaking updates. Like I said, the main important thing you guys need to take away is that Cydia is now partially running on iOS 12, and this update came directly from Pwned Own just about an hour and a half ago. The second update he gave us is he says Cydia and Substrate support for iOS 12. It's not been released yet, but we're planning to release a new public beta once it's ready for public testing. And the first comment right below it says, so we're literally waiting on Sork, and that's exactly where we are at. Pwned Own and his team of awesome developers have got the current version of Cydia and Substrate running on iOS 12, but there are a few minor things that need to be updated directly from Sorg himself for it to be completely functional. Now, one of the major updates came from this guy right here. He says this, well, minimal stuff works. We still need to do a lot, but I have Shell. Cydia works and Substrate mostly works. Don't hold your breath, but it's progressing. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and start this video over from scratch. As you guys can see, Cydia is on the home screen right next to the uncovered jailbreak. He then proceeds to open up Cydia. It launches really quick. He scrolls down to the bottom right here. And if you guys can see, he is currently running this on an iPhone 10 by the identifier iPhone 10 3 on iOS 12.1.1. And then progressing through this video, he goes on to show us that packages can currently be installed via Cydia. That seems to be working perfectly fine. Probably what is holding the team up is how Substrate is functioning on iOS 12. But this is great news and this is amazing progress towards an iOS 12 jailbreak. We are literally waiting on Sorek now to make the patches necessary for Substrate and tweaks and all all of that to function properly on iOS 12. It is almost here guys. No more of this rootless jailbreak without a package installer. Sure, some tweaks run and sure it's possible to install them, but this is what we've all been waiting for. The full-fledged iOS 12 jailbreak for public use with a package installer to make things super neat and super easy. Lastly, and I almost forgot, if you guys are currently running iOS 12.1.4 or iOS 12.1.3, you need to downgrade immediately as this jailbreak is only going to support iOS 12 to 12.1.2. And while these firmwares are no longer being signed by Apple, as of recording this video, iOS 12.1.1 Beta 3 still surprisingly is being signed, meaning it is possible to downgrade from these firmwares to iOS 12.1 Beta 3 via iTunes. And I have a tutorial on that, exactly how to do that. If you guys want a video walkthrough, just check the comments down below or in your cards now for that link. Secondly, once you guys finally get to that firmware, definitely install the tvOS beta profile to block over there updates so your device doesn't accidentally automatically get updated overnight without you knowing. You definitely want to stay on iOS 12 to 12.1.2 and do not update your devices. Anyway guys, the main thing I wanted to cover in today's video is that Cydia is now partially running on iOS 12 and this was achieved by Pwn to Own and everyone on the Uncover Jailbreak team. So huge shout out to them. I'm super excited to see what comes in the near future. Again, if you guys want to stay updated with the latest jailbreaking updates, definitely like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching this quick video, but until next time, this is Tony signing out.